Hey, today I want to talk to you about attic ventilation, what a ridge vent is, a slant back round dome vent, and an intake flow vent. So this guy right here, this is actually what's called a ridge vent because it's on the ridge of the roof as heat rises in the attic. It actually rises to the peaks and it escapes through here, right? Hopefully they cut it out properly. This young gentleman right down here is called a slant back vent or a turtle vent. I disagree with the placement of this vent. And this vent, I, I believe it should be a different type of vent, but that's a slant back vent. And it's supposed to act as the inflow, meaning air comes in through here and it escapes out through the ridge vent because there's no soffit ventilation. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Alrighty, next one on the docket here is a round dome vent. This is an exhaust. It acts same as a ridge vent, but they're using a round dome vent. Disagree with the different types of vents, but it is what it is. This one is acting as an inflow. It comes in and this one is acting as an exhaust or an exit. So air should be coming in from that and escaping from this bad boy. Over on this side, they also have slant backs, as you can see right there and right there. Air comes in through here and this air that's coming in has only one way out which is this this is this vent is not enough to balance out this intake this these two this is not enough to balance that out you should have a balance flow system per every 300 square feet of attic space you should have one square foot of opening so an opening down at the intake one square foot open down there you should have one square foot of opening up top okay so here we are right on the eve of the roof as you can see they're using this slant back as an intake because they don't have the soffit intake holes yet you usually see they have the holes or the ventilation here so that air comes in through here and it actually escapes up through the ridge vent. So they're using the slant backs in substitution for adding the soffit ventilation. I actually don't mind this system of ventilation, but I do disagree with the types of vents that they're using. And these right here, these are the intake vents as you can see them right here, those dark lines. We'll get up on the roof right now and I'll show them to you and what they look like. Okay, so here's what the intake vents look like right here they're using this as an intake and they're using the same intake as an exhaust which you shouldn't do but this is just to show the different types of vents as you can see right here these are the intake vents air comes in through these i actually prefer these for intakes but not as an exhaust but this is what they look like here the intake comes in through here and it escapes through here i disagree with how they're using it again they should have used one of those guys up top or added a ridge vent from there but if they would have sealed these properly you wouldn't have blown shingles there as you can see right here this needs to be sealed off to prevent the shingles from blowing off as they did there over on this side you have another set you got the intake here and they're using the same intake as an exhaust you shouldn't do that you can but not used how it's supposed to be all these markings here is mechanical damage and this here is actually common in new construction these guys put their ladders here to paint and do all the work here on the side this is very common in new construction and why you should have a home inspection but that's not what this video is about we're actually just showcasing the ventilation system here it is and they should have sealed this properly to prevent these shingles from blowing up hey so today i showed you the intake vents the turtle vents slant backs ridge vents round dome vents intake flow vents um, all of them are approved just make sure that when you do install them or you're getting these installed on your roof it's a good combination uh, of the vents don't mix the ventilation systems and use the proper vents and the proper placement hey so the purpose of this video is really to document my journey and at the same time i hope that you're learning something from my video so if you did learn something or you have something to say drop a comment below if you're in san antonio and you're having a roofing issue give us a call we'd lo love to help you out we'll catch you on the next one